So I was recently given this replay by a viewer, and they, they, they told me to to watch over this battle and, and give commentary, and I said, I love free content. So we're looking at the team on the the bachelor side, one true lichen. It's a very interesting composition, to say to say the least. We can see him doing the double water electric strategy, which is very foreign to me. However, it must be very very common to his ideology, seeing how he's very expertly and with no fear wielding the power of Rotom Wash and Lantern at the same time. We have Septile, which one can only assume is Mega. Otherwise, it's dog shit. However, Mega Septile does have like a pretty cool niche in the fact that it's the fastest like Leaf Storm user, which gives it some viability. Like it hits hard. Um, Alola Ninetales, I'm assuming, is here for Veil. However, like the setup sweepers just aren't there. Like, I guess SD Gliscorn, SD Scissor might be pretty interesting on the build. But otherwise, I don't see Ninetales doing too much. And on the opponent's side, we have a Tapu Koko Halucha double core, um, Tyranitar for just special sponging, a Thunderous the, um, Incarnate form, actually, with, with the Prankster, perhaps Defiant even, a Galade, and an Araquanid. Now, Galade is actually one of those Pokemon that, like, loses damage upon Mega Evolving, and so... There's a chance it's not Mega, and instead it's Mega Tyranitar, which has the benefit of being a 700 BSD Pokemon. Now, I'm thinking Tyranitar is not going to do much as a, as a bulky mon. Into this team, like, you have every Pokemon to his for super effective damage. So Tyranitar is, like, dead weight. I would never worry about it. Um, the problematic matchups are... Um, perhaps if Halucha can get going after... Like, Rotom Wash has been weakened. Um, so I'd, I'd watch out for Tapu Koko. I'm very, very scared of Tapu Koko. So, I, if I were in, like, in shoes, I would probably lead off with Sceptile or Ninetales. Um, specifically because Tapu Koko is such a terrible lead. I think Araquanid is manageable because you have two water types. I, like, I, there's there's no world where, like, where, like Araquanid, like, solos, right? Actually, oh, dear God. How do I... How do I mute the sound? We have the early lead of Tyranitar, which is very confusing by the opponent's part. Tyranitar is forced out by every Pokemon. I don't understand. Doubles out into the top of Coco. Very, very free. Um, Like, the power is in the top of Coco. Wait a minute. I forgot Lantern has Vault Absorb. You're fine. All of his offensive tools are covered by your defensive tools. Oh, Graston does nothing. Get the free U-turn. Um, I don't, I don't understand the Rotom play. Um, Subtitle seems relative. No, oh, never mind. I guess. But like, Goliath's course is pretty free. You can protect and, like, scout. At least get your Toxic Orb going. So you can have, like, passive recovery, especially into the Gallade. Goes to the Volt Switch, which does a sizable chunk into Top of Coco. Which doesn't make sense because Tapu Koko is your like primary wall breaker. Up goes into Subtile, which I I understand it. T Earthquake. Okay, okay, this is an unlosable situation. This is actually unlosable. The Halucha is trying to get going, but you have you have two defensive tools into it. You have Lantern. And see, this is this is why I was hesitant about letting Gliscor not get his Toxic Orb off. Because now it's it's Halucha fodder. However, you do have the Lantern and the, the uh... Oh, no. You do have the Lantern and the Rotom. You should just be able to Volt Switch and kill it. Like, Lantern it's, has to be like, somewhat of a real Pokemon, right? Thunderbolt. Actually, okay, that's fine. Because now it's in Bullet Punch range, I think. The U-turn on an Unburdened set is fucking ridiculous. That is terrible. I don't understand the no CC either. Like, you would have just killed the Lantern, and it probably does sizable chunk to Rotom. The bulk up doesn't make sense either. This is a very stupid player. I'm expecting this to be a very, very clean conversion into a win. Earthquake the T-Tar to kill it. There's there's no offense on this team. That can... Although, like, Galade is like a somewhat real Pokemon. 
But if you can just go nine tails and get up the veil. Now you can click the free ice move. Probably pick up the thunderous. Yeah, and now like Galate can't do anything. If you have Moonblast, it's good. If you don't, you can just you can literally go into like any of your offensive lawns and be completely fine. This is this is a very easy game. I can see why someone I can see why you would send this. This is an excellent um, conversion of a on, honestly a quite easy win with a gimmicky team. The drain punch comes out, but it's no avail. Scissor bullet punch just should be able to he should be able to bullet punch the galley to death. No. What where's where is your bullet punch? Are you bandit? Perhaps? Perhaps. It's okay though. Um you should be able to just like go into Rotom and bolt no. No. Okay, it's fine though. Oh, lives on twelve with the assault with the heavy duty boost. Dice the Never in my life have I seen a worse. Why didn't you bullet punch? Then you get two guarantee hits off into Araquanid. And I'm sure this is our bullet punch just more than more than what? Well even then, then you have the off the defensive switch into Rotom. That's insane. I've never seen a a worse. Where? Why didn't you? Why wouldn't you bullet punch or U-turn? You should position you perfectly, even into like the the mirror coat. Then you would know and be able to like toxic stall it down. Wow, wow, horrifically played, horrendous. In fact, I I am astonished. Well, I I I would be embarrassed. I would never show this replay to anyone. My, my grandmother can play Pokemon better than this. My my dog can play better Pokemon better than this. Um, yeah. Just, honestly, I think this is a game you don't even improve off of. You just pretend like it never existed. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that you had to witness this, but I, I just I thought it would be a real game. I'm sorry. Goodbye.